Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is a, a project that will be going throughout the year. So this is the Project Polish Mini Edition, Mini Version. And um, I'm basically going to be joining and supporting Half. So Half in it, I will link um, Jen's channel down below. Um, and I got inspiration for this video and for this project from Half. So thank you very much, Half. Um, now, she decided on 17, which I thought was a really great idea for 2017. And you've heard me mention in previous videos that sometimes I forget about my minis. Um, and I want to make sure that, you know, same with, as Half in Half's video, she said that she's probably worn most of the polishes in her collection at least once. There's, there's always a few that, that, that um, fall through the net, if you like, and, you know, slip through the, slip through the gaps. Um, and the polishes that I've chosen to try and, and use, and use, hopefully maybe even use up this year, are polishes that are obviously all minis, uh, but some of them have kind of slipped through the net for me, so I wanted to make sure that I kind of highlight them and give them a bit of air time. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I will get through the polishes. I'll show you which ones I've chosen. So the first one here is this really pretty cherry red Crelly. It's absolutely great on, there we go, a bit of day. You see, the thing is you get the daylight, but it's really dark in the kitchen. So we'll see, it might be lamp on and off, but this is a really pretty, red and it's a great formula which is surprising because it's from this mini fashion set butter london but not all of them were terrible and this is one that was actually quite nice and this is called scrummy and what i've done is i've marked so i have worn this once but it's it was just at the top so that's my line for starting this one and obviously throughout the year we, when we, as I'm making progress, fingers crossed, I will add the lines as we go along. So that's Scrummy. The next one is another Butter London Mini, and this is a really bright bubblegum pink. Again, Crelly formula, so you it's not the best formula, it's not as good as this one. But two to three coats, I would say... Um, Having problems with the focus today. Yeah, so it's that very bright Barbie bubblegum pink. And that is called Summer Holes. And I think this was like a limited edition from the 12 mini Manny set that I got. So yeah, that's two Butter London minis to try and use up this year. or to at least to try and make some progress on actually wearing them and using them. The next one is a bright neon, it's, it's looking very pink in the camera, but it's much more of a, of a, of a purple shade, a very, very bright magenta. And this is one of the Orleys that I've chosen. This is, purple crush and I've worn it never I don't think so this is right at the very top I've maybe swatched it once or twice so that's right at the top um yeah same as the other two actually so we've got some that you know I need to I definitely need to use them all I'm all I've done previously is swatch them so that's this one. The next one is another Orly, and it came from the same set, actually. This one I have worn a couple of times. And this you may recognise as Mayhem Mentality. They're so cute, these little Orlies. Um, so this was, um, again, the same with Purple Crush. Um, they both dry matte, uh, neon, for, you know, the typical neon formula. So not the easiest to apply. Um, this one's a bit further down, and that's it there on the swatch wheel. So next up, I've got quite a few S's that I wanted to start using, 
or using more of and the first one is another orange this I have used a couple of times I've, I know that I've worn this um, at least twice and this is raw orange raw orange um, so it's a it's a juicy um, but slightly burnt orange Crelly formula it's really good formula actually on two coats and this is it on the swatch wheel here so it's it's a bright orange but it's tipping into it's a kind of slightly burnt it's like um, um like a passion fruit kind of am i thinking of passion fruit sharon fruit maybe <laughs> that kind of shade the the next one is um another essie so i have actually got quite a few essies here this one is ruffles and feathers and again i think i've only worn this once and this is a very bright kind of jade green crelly very shiny on two coats really pretty shade um and actually quite an okay formula i wouldn't say brilliant but it was okay for um you know that kind of non cream more of a, a crelly type of formula Next one is sticking with Essie. This is Going Guru, which was from the resort collection, I think, last year. Um, and I haven't worn this yet, believe it or not, even though it's a really pretty greyed out pastel green. Um, so I'm going to try and wear this in the spring. It's a great shade, but it's that bright but classic pastel green. And this is it on the swatch wheel. Really pretty, I like that one. Um, another Essie, I wonder if you can recognise what this one is. This is a mini set that I got. Um, the I haven't got these in any order whatsoever. Uh, the Flower Easter collection. And I'm actually, I've worn this a few times because I've had this a couple of years. This is down to sort of here. And this is petal pushes so it's a very pretty grey with a slight hint of a kind of purpley lavender it's a really great cream fantastic formula and two coats here on the swatch wheel so that's petal pushes the next mini is another se i've got still got a couple of more se's um so this is number nine and this is a great purple shimmer this is this was from the sh summer shimmer brights collection i think it was last year a mini collection again i tend to pick up these mini sets from tk max um and then just forget about them so this is a real effort to try not to do that and this is dj on board and yeah it's just a very pretty bright but shimmery purple the next one, this is a, a sheer, deliberately sheer polish. And this is, I really love this one, actually. I have worn it a few times. This is Hubby for Dessert, which came out in one of the bridal collections. Um, and yes, it's, if I laid it upright, it's, it's about here. And you're not going to really be able to see too much of this on the swatch wheel um it's not going to look any much different but it's a very it'd be great for um you know just two to three coats for a very clean look or a kind of french manny look but it's it's got that hint of, of lavender in there um to contrast that a very dark opaque color this is yet another se and this is just want to try and make sure that you can see these purple shimmers in here I mean, if this, I've not put a top coat on anything, but if you put a top coat on this, you would really be able to see the purple glitter shimmer, micro shimmer that's in here, micro glitters. Um, and this is Hoped Tub. So it's a black with purple micro glitter and it's, there's real depth to it. It's, you can see this shimmer on the nail. It's visible, but more, much more subtle on the nail and um this was quite popular actually when this collection came out 
and I was really pleased that I got the mini and I have worn it but just you know I need to remember it and wear it more so I'm going to make a deliberate concerted effort with that one this year so we get to number 12 and this is uh, we're moving away from the mainstream now and the rest of them are indie polishes um, and this is glitter baby nails chamomile tea and this is just one that ten that slipped through the net when I was um, swatching indies earlier, uh, well, last year. And it's uh, a very subtle, very pretty pastel lemon, two, two coats. So it's, it's when I swatch this, it's, it is a pretty colour. It's a kind of pastel lemon kind of colour. It was a bit of a thick formula. So this was in two coats, possibly would require three. But yeah, just a, a little bit patchy, just a little bit. But, you know, yellows are very difficult formulas. For some reason, I'm not entirely sure why, because I don't make nail polishes. Um, the next three that I've got coming up, I'll show you together. So these three here, which are... Uh, polish me royalty this one is a gorgeous beautiful denim blue with an, with iridescent flakies and that's this one I'll just put the lamp on and see if that picks up yeah those flakies iridescent flakies and when this is stood up straight I've used about this much here that's the the line when it stood up straight um, astral romance The next one was from the Suicide Squad collection, which I didn't, apart from just swatching it, I didn't get around to wearing it. So this is right up to the very top. And this is Daddy's Little Monster. And that's this one here. So it's one of the, I'm pushing, oh, the other thing that I want to do with these minis is, you know, I've put a red in there because I don't usually wear red. I've put, um, pastel, lemony colours that I, you know, bright neons that I wouldn't necessarily go to wear but I'm going to try to vary my taste a little bit this year and this includes crellies like pale crellies with glitters so this has got this is a a, a blue baby blue crelly formula with pink stars and hex glitters and this is two coats, but I think maybe, you you know, another, I would possibly put another one on this. I don't know. I'm just going to play around with these Crellies. This final one here from Polish Me Royalty is a thermal. And the reason that I put this in is because I don't know how long of a shelf life thermal polishes have. Um, I don't think it's as long as normal polishes. So I do want to make sure that I wear this because it's beautiful. This came out in the Christmas collection and it's called Kissmas Invasion so it's the polish that was based on Doctor Who inspired by Doctor Who and it's a pretty pale blue base with loads of gold flakies blue glitter hexes diff two different types of glitter actually and then a dark blue micro glitter this is two coats here, but look, just look at those gorgeous gold flakies. I mean, I think I'd like this just if it were, even if it wasn't a thermal. Um, if you take change the temperature, it goes to a darker, slightly darker blue. So that's um, Kissmas Invasion. And the last two are this one here is I don't know why I overlook this one because it really is very pretty this is a full coverage glitter and it's the base is a kind of pinky purple taupey jelly it's a very strange color to describe this is it this is opulent essences and this is it in the bottle so it's just packed with holographic scattered holographic but in this pinky bluish taupey very unusual coloured base and this is called bijou um, and again I think this will look great with a top coat it's much shinier um, to the eye than it is through the camera here 
and the last one is a for your nails only and this is a gorgeous royal purple with purple and silver flakes and this is called Turkish Delight and um, it's super super shiny on the nail and this is a great formula just two coats here so these are the 17 mini polishes that I'm going to try to make an effort to wear throughout the year and I think just looking at all of them here, so I can lay them flat now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is pick out ones for now that are more kind of winter appropriate. So I'll probably be using this one, this one, this one, and maybe these kind of shades for the next few months possibly and I've got some pastels for spring some brights for summer some shimmery glitters so yeah I'm gonna really make an effort and me and half can kind of keep each other in check um, and encourage each other to use our project polish minis um, if anyone wants to join please join in um, it's I'll give probably a couple of updates during the year and yeah, that's it for now. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!